your patience. I know. This is the first show, the first piano bench mm -hmm. of the year. Oh my. Uh, is it really? It really is. We haven't been on oh for like gosh. two weeks. So okay. Fun Happy story. New Year, everyone. Fun story, everyone. I was just like, I, I, I came to work. I, I did my morning work. I right. had my lunch. Right. I had my workout. Just chilling at my desk. And my sister's like, uh, are, you, are you supposed to be on the bench right now? <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, it was like five minutes to go till the start. And Lisa was nowhere, nowhere to be found. Mm -hmm. But you know what it was? You needed your coffee. Otherwise, the bench would be a complete disaster. Train wreck. We cannot do the show without coffee. <laughs> it's simply impossible. Um, so happy New Year, everyone! This is so exciting. I know. Ugh, it's so good to be back again. We're live. Do you with... do New Year's resolutions? Did I do New Year's resolutions? Yeah, do you, is that a thing you do? Um, like sort of. I I guess like I make like my own personal ones. Mm. Like, I want to try and be more consistent. And honestly, a weird thing for me is I want to try and and. Uh, take a little bit more time to myself and to relax this year. What a concept. I know because I went like the, like the last like eight months without a single like day off. You're crazy. Whether it was piano or I was gigging at night and every, every single day. And so this year for me is I'm adding rest back into my schedule what? because like this weekend, guess what? Only one gig. What? This actually this whole week, only <gasps> one gig, which for me is crazy. Shocking. But it was so good, and I actually like had two days off, and I was like, "Is this what people are is supposed? This normal is this what it's supposed to be like?" Because it was glorious. So happy. For yeah, you. I'm. So what about you? Resolutions? Um, I really like. I know this is so cliche, but I really, really, really am working hard at being more present in the moment that I'm in. Mm. Like I feel like I always have like a thousand plates spinning at one time, <laughs> um, and I really want to like when I'm talking to somebody, like yeah. I just want to be more there with that person. Totally. When I'm at the piano, I'm gonna be more at the piano, and that's actually one of my little strategies because I know that my scrolling prevents me right. from being present. So one of the things I've re I'm replacing this with is <sighs> that. Ooh. So when I like find myself reaching to this, I'm like, oh, least the piano's three steps away. You're gonna go play. Is this really what we're gonna do? <laughs> Um, and so I've been playing a lot more, which has been nice. That's amazing. Yeah. I also liked your social post that you posted yesterday on Instagram. It was you and Jesus. It okay. just brought back good memories for me. And <laughs> okay. Like, they're just, you guys don't even understand all the good that came out of the, that trip. Kevin being one of those things. Yeah, I wasn't even part of the team back no, then. And it was kind of like a secret working interview almost. Yeah, it kind of was. For people who don't know, back in, well, that was February, I think, last year, that we went and filmed Jesus Molina. Mm. And that was so, so cool. Uh, and I knew that Jesus like speaks Spanish. And I was, I messaged Lisa, I sent her an email. I was like, hey, like, I know I don't like work for piano. I've done some stuff. I had like a Latin course and I was like, I don't actually work for piano. Like officially I'd done like some things behind the scenes, some editing and stuff, but um, I was like, can can I just like come and help produce? <laughs> And Lisa's like, that would be amazing. But then Lisa, she's like, actually, we have to go to Malibu because there's some visa issues. He can't come here. So like, sorry about that. And so I actually just decided that I was going to just be in Malibu. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to pay my way to Malibu. Don't worry about it. I'm going to come help out. And um, and then like Jesus, I saw him play and my whole mind just, okay. just anything. You guys were improvising. I think it was... Uh, what was that Beatles song you guys did? Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna show you. We're gonna. Sh it's. Hold on. This is hilarious. <laughs> February, I think it was. What do you have? No, like you don't understand. Like the it's, video. Kate, I, no, it's your face. Oh my face! You have it's a video your, of my face. No, I have a picture. A of picture your face. of my face. I have a picture of your face. Oh my! When I first. <sighs> I can I can already imagine what it was like. You guys like. don't understand. <laughs> Yeah, that would have been yeah February last year. February, what year is it? Last year, twenty twenty two. Yeah, that's right. I that. mm -hmm. <laughs> but you guys have to see this. I have it right here. Okay, so you don't understand. So Kevin is this like, he's a fan of Hastings. Oh yeah, I'm a big fan. Big okay, fan. Okay, can of you guys see this? <laughs> this is Kevin's face. That was me sitting on the couch. I have. Can it focus? I'll, I'll just I'll re I'll recreate it. So I have this. I, <laughs> yes. I have this. <laughs> I was like this because I didn't. Like... I didn't want him to like see me like kind of like fangirling, so I had to cover my mouth like this. <laughs> and I just had this big smile on my face watching him just play anything and, and everything. Ugh. It was so good. 
and just that was and then he asked me he's like how long have you been working for piano i was like i don't actually work for them and, and he's he, He's like, Lisa, you need to hire him. He needs to work for piano. If not, he's going to become my assistant and we're going to travel the world. And <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> and then the rest at this point, I guess, is kind of like history. And uh, yeah. It's pretty cool. So I'm going through my photos last night because it's really cold right now here. Yeah. It's winter. I'm feeling sorry for myself. I get a little bit down in the dumps in right. January, February. I'm looking through the photos from Malibu and this performance that just a little clip I did with Jesus. I posted it on my Instagram, but we're gonna show you it right now um, because it was like probably the best moment of my life and I need Kevin to tell us what on earth Jesus was playing. And then after that, we're gonna dive into our song library and this crazy amazing launch that we just did. But let's just, we gotta take a look at this first, check it out. ocean was behind you and I was filming that just like on a cell phone and and just even listening to that like there's so much happening and just like everything he plays because when he's playing chords and this is a trick that I kind of just picked up watching him play was he's very melodic with the way he plays chords oh. and even just listening to that because if you look at this here's the song here are the chords in that song um, he was just playing in the key of D the actual chords like the main chords in that song are like D chord to G chord, to A chord, so it's like D, G, and A. But what he's doing, like right off the bat, like Lisa, if you just do that first part, like a, and he does this. So right off the bat, he's doing this like, bum, 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 like it's going up stepwise, like through the D major scale with those chords. little sus chord and then he goes really up high this is my favorite part what is so ah, the, look that, he, those he just took a d chord because that's the actual chord he did a little broken chord then he did a d over f sharp which basically if you take the third of a chord and put it in your left hand like this and then he just played like a d chord up here i'm just playing f sharp d f sharp still the f sharp note or the d chord notes but it sounds like this He has this little, little melody he plays in there. And there's this one chord he plays here, which is just like, uh, oh, really jazz <laughs> out of nowhere. What and like this happen? chord, like if I, honestly, like what is this? What is this chord? What, it's got, no, Kevin, me, what is this chord? Okay, let me put this down. Like, cause honestly, this like be your I'm a theory the guy. Like, what, what do you call this? Cause he starts off with this, then he's moving up because he's playing a little melody. The melody is, but he's playing it over like a G sharp half diminished chord. That's what it is. And then he does this little E minor, add 11 to like this, or E minor 11 to the D over A. Then he has this little, and this is a four over five G over A. Like, and we put that all together, so Lisa, let's see if we, let's see if we can do this. Uh, so. This song that has like three chords and just uh, completely it, it seriously turned... like I want to cry when I hear it because it's so pretty I know so the whole session was basically like that 24 7 so every day I was just trying to soak up as much information and I became a better piano player just from watching him play and taking like things that he would do and like that course Okay, we is, have a course from Jesus in the piano uh, members area. It is, it is like, it has stuff for beginners, yep. for intermediate people, and 
a lot of stuff for advanced yeah. students. It's got a little bit of everything. And even if you're, you know, still learning piano and you just want to get inspired listening to him talk about music and how he approaches music. So amazing. Um, and he gives off like a six month practice plan yeah. in there that I've been working on. Uh, and it's it's just so, so cool. It's so good. So if you're in piano, it's in our courses and pack section. If you're joining us on YouTube, um, there's actually a free trial that you can link. Um, Truman, Truman, are you there across the internet? Um, <laughs> Truman has, I think it's posted at the top of the chat um, where you can just check out Piano for free, which you're going to want to do anyways because of the next thing we're about to talk about. But before we go on to that, I just want to like pause Piano members. That was a very fun little musical moment that we just had. <laughs> so if you have questions about that, Put them in the questions tab, or if that kind of like analysis or like, re would you call that reharm? Um, yeah, it, he was reharming that. He had a lot of like, what the heck? Does anyone <laughs> else have a name for this chord? Like, take a look at this for a second. They would, can you throw up the overhead? What do you call this? Give me a name for this. This is like a, it's got an A flat, the tritone, the flat seven, the nine, and the 11. Like, what is this? David, what does Courtney call it? A flat minor 11 flat 5 and then it keeps changing every single uh, oh, it's just and I and a lot of the times we were in those sessions too and he play chords and he'd look at me he's like what chord is this <laughs> and he wouldn't even know the chord he's playing he's just cuz he's making matter. he's making music he's making melodies right and but my brain I have to like try and understand like how he's coming up with this and and so much like the one thing he taught me was like listen it's okay to turn off your theory brain sometimes mm. and just make music make melodies mm. that's what it's all about and so I don't have to know the name of every chord. We can give every chord a name technically, but um, actually we have a new release today too that we haven't. We do. Sorry, I just typed somebody's name wrong in the chat. It was kind of funny and <laughs> Nick, I'm just trying Nick. not to laugh. Welcome back. Sorry, Nick. Nick. <laughs> now we all know who we are. You're famous. Um, what was the release? Our release today is actually one of my videos, which I'm stoked ah! about. It's about the blue scale. So it's about. Oh my gosh! Wanna, did that release? It released today, just like an oh, hour ago. Oh guys, we have so much to talk. I'm going to teach you in this video. One kind of sounds like this. Uh, uh, the second one, uh, and that last one. <laughs> so if you want to like learn how to play like that, you got to check out this video. It comes with a backing track to practice, and we have a snippet. Let's let's show you uh, a little bit of what this video looks like. It's going to be released to the public on Friday. Let's check it out. Playing a solo that sounds like this is actually much easier than you think. All you need are six notes, and it's called the minor blues scale. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to play the minor blues scale, which has only six notes. But on top of that, I'm gonna give you three specific blues licks that are easy to play and are gonna help you sound like a pro in no time. On top of this, I'm also gonna include a backing track so you can start having fun with this right away and jamming out to the blues. Let's get into it. All right, here are the six notes that we need to learn. Okay, first one, C. E flat, F, G flat, G natural, B flat, and C. Backwards, C, B flat, G, G flat, F, E flat, C. So with the C minor blues scale, there's a couple fingering things that we just need to watch out for. The first one is C with finger one, E flat finger two, F with finger three, G flat with finger four, and then you're gonna do a thumb tuck to G to B flat. And if you wanna keep going, you can either do another thumb tuck to start on C there, or you can just end it with finger three to go back down. So let's try doing that up and down. And backwards, finger four. Okay, so if you've got that, let's see if we can try and play that along with an actual blues track. One, two, three, four.
All right, great work with the track so far. If you wanna keep practicing this, make sure you download the track because it is available for you. Just click the link below this video and you can start practicing it all the way up and down until you get it nice and smooth. So now what we're gonna do is... Boom! A little blues. A little blues and you for notice that when I talk about the blues, the background turns blue. Oh, it's so cool! <laughs> it's so cool! It's just... <laughs> I don't um, know, I was so excited by that in the video. It's gonna be so much fun, and yes, Kevin did include a track. It's really, really fun to practice. Yeah, you, you should just, all just go take that lesson. It's a great lesson. First, you learn how to like play the scale up and down, mm -hmm. get really comfortable with that. Once you can do the scale up and down, because it's only six notes, that's it, just six. And once you can play that, then you can you know try out these licks I'm showing you, and then make your own solos, and you can keep looping that track and trying it over and over again until you make your own solo. So, uh, I'm super stoked about that one. Lot of exciting things happening there right now. is a lot of exciting things happening <sighs> okay i think we should talk about the like big exciting things. okay okay are we ready for this we're ready there's a i'm just looking there's, there's so many people here people here okay so um, like our theme today was playing the songs you love right <laughs> um learn your favorite songs that's yes. what we've called this one we just launched our new song library inside piano there are a thousand songs with more to come, and we're gonna give you a little tour of this. So if you have questions about this, throw them into the questions tab. Um, but this has me really excited because I think this is gonna change the way, well, for me anyways, we practice and how we can approach learning. And there's just, there are a lot of layers to this. So first, let's just start. I'm gonna share my screen with you. Can you guys see it? Okay, here's our song library. So, like, there's a lot. So you can just kind of, come on, it's trying to load on my fast scroll here. We can sort by skill level, style, artist. We have, like, it's a lot. So, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you um, how this works. Let's pick a really great piano song that everybody knows. I'm going to go with... I had it open um, here. We're going to go for Bette Midler. We're going to go for the Rose. This one's pretty approachable. So you're going to see it here. And if I hit play full track, the music comes up. And like step one, check this out. Are they going to be able to hear David? Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah? OK, so if I press play, can they hear the music playing? Can you tap the stream? Oh, can you the the stream. There we go. Can you guys hear it? Oh, there we go. I think we're working. How's that? It's synced with the music. So you can play along with the track. And, and I'm shouting, I'm so excited. Okay, watch this. Too fast? Need to slow down? You can slow it down. Okay, I'm gonna go back to normal. Want to see where your hands should be on the piano? And you can set this feature up um, in the settings so that it plays different parts of the notation, but it's really cool because you can watch on the keyboard where your hands are supposed to go. We've got chords above the measures. We've got the melody line, the vocal melody with the voice is singing. And then we've got the piano accompaniment. So there's a few different ways you can approach practicing this. And we're going to get to that in a minute because I want to switch over to this option here. Synth. Okay. So check this out. Now the video has gone away. Actually, I made a mistake. I wanted to show you if you press this button, you can put the video at the top of your screen if that's more convenient for you. And you can also resize it so you can have it kind of however you want it to be. Um, and since we're here, and this will sound really cool, imagine you're practicing this and you're really struggling with um, this measure here. So check this out. You can just drag it and you can press these little dots if you want to have a count in and you can loop it. So watch this. Whoa. Okay, sorry about that. I broke something. Just the first measure. It is a love. You can it is a love! And you can uh, select multiple measures and you can loop whatever parts of the song that you want to loop. Okay, how's everybody tracking with me so far? Great, people are 
Saying this looks amazing. It is amazing, but we haven't even gotten to all the rest of the good stuff. Okay, so we're gonna go to synthetic, and this is a great option for if you wanna just focus on the piano part. So you can listen, it's gonna sound a bit different now. Oh, I said I counted, didn't I? So it's gonna play the piano part for you. So you can play along with this. You can slow it down, of course. I've brought it down. But you can bring it back up. You can put it wherever you want tempo-wise. Okay, it's pretty cool so far. Now I just wanna make mention that in this arrangement, you would play this here with your left hand and then you can play the melody here with your right hand. Um, and there's different ways that we can set this up. So I just wanna show you, if you go to the settings dots here, you're gonna see we've got the instruments shown here. You might have to move my face, David. There we go, get rid of me. Um, so you can focus on the melody. So if you click that, it's gonna actually appear just like a chord chart would or a lead sheet. So if you wanna just play the song, pretend like this is in front of Kevin, he can press play. It's gonna count me in because I set that up, but he's gonna see this melody and he could play it on the piano and just play the chords in the left hand. Can you do it? So he's following along, reading the notes, and he's chording his way through the song. And this is how I personally love to do my um, piano playing. <laughs> and we teach you how to do this in piano. Sorry, sorry, I know. He can't help You're himself. Explained. There's a focus mode too. Toyo just mentioned to not forget. Focus means. <laughs> I think I was just doing focus. Focus mode when you can get just. Oh, like when the you're two looping. Bars. Okay, so yeah, Sam, again, I'm looping. struggling with this one. I want to just focus on the. Oops, Lisa, come on. Get it together. There. Okay. I can hit this and then this. Oh, come on. There you go. And then if you hit focus on this, it just shows that on your screen so that you don't get distracted. I mean, I never get distracted, so I don't think I'll use this feature. <laughs> just joking. I'll totally use that. Okay, so we've just isolated the melody and made this appear as a lead sheet. Now, if I want to, I can focus on just the right hand, or I can focus on just the left hand, or if I wanted to play just the piano accompaniment and get rid of the melody, I can hit this little button and it crosses that out. Now we just have the piano accompaniment here for us. So this is now gonna be played as though it were like you are the piano player in this song. Um, so it's really pretty, I'll just press play on it for you. And you can mute different things too. So I, I'm gonna mute the melody. And you could be, I don't know where I am in the song. Oh, it's the verse. Do, do. If I forget where the melody is, I can put that back in. Now I can follow along with all of it. There we go. Yeah. It's amazing. Now, say you want to play this in a different key, and you can put it in any key you want. Uh, uh, isn't that crazy? Oh, I think I need to move your face, today. Oh, yeah, there got it is. right here. This is the transpose. <laughs> so you can put this in any key that you want, which is amazing. And then just little things, like you can see right here, the cursor, like this little guy is orange, but you can change them to be like a rectangle so it's a more um, of a gradual scroll. You can change it into a wider one. You can get rid of it. Um, so just the notes are highlighting, or you can put, I'm gonna put back to the line. There we go. It's pretty, it's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, so that is like, that's, that's a quick rundown on how it works. You can set your metronome up here in the corner. Um, again, you can play around with just like hiding different aspects of it. Here, if we hide the notation, you get just the lyrics and the chords. So you've created yourself a chord chart. Um, you can put that back. And what happens if I press this one? You can get rid of those. Oh yeah, you can get rid of the chords if you don't want to see them. Bye-bye. <laughs> um, and then you can again get rid of the lyrics if you don't want to see the lyrics. So there's a lot of things you can do to customize this. It's pretty amazing. So a lot of these are set up to be the piano version of the song, but that doesn't mean that you can't play the melody and then the accompaniment. So what I mean is like, if I scroll ahead here, I might choose to play this top bit and then I'm gonna ignore the middle and then I'll play what's in the left hand here. And you can just, again, you can mute this 
So now I've created it so that it's become your own piano arrangement. And listen, I need to turn that count in off, but I'm not sure how. The piano thing is playing it for us, so I'm gonna mute it because I know how. There. Moon takes the chance. There we go. Yeah, I mean, there's so many different ways that you can play this. Um, and so for, for me, when I'm thinking about this, oh, you want this one? There you go, there's your computer. <laughs> we can plug you back in if you want to. So a lot of people have been asking, like, oh, like, is there solo piano versions of this song? And so the thing is, you can try and play it a bunch of different ways. Me personally, um, when I'm reading music, I like to read something that's called a lead sheet. So if you're not exactly sure what a lead sheet is, a lead sheet is typically when you have the melody line and you have the chords on top. So for that song, it would just be the melody like the... Then I'm kind of following along with that melody and then that kind of gives me a little bit of freedom to go, okay, do I want to play just a single note melody? Do I want to add some harmony in there? Like if I added, let's say this interval. Um, this interval is my favorite interval. It's called the interval of a sixth. And if I took the same melody, let's see if we can get an overhead, yeah, perfect. The melody is C, D, E. So if I go like this, add a six below, and I just do that the whole time, listen to this. It's just like a built-in harmony. Yes. And then if I just play the chords in my left hand, Goodness, Kevin. And if I do arpeggios, oh, that's not the chord. Then go back to those chords. Like there, there's just so many ways. That, that way is a little bit more musically gives you a little bit more musical freedom when you're reading the lead sheet, but I know not everyone uh, likes to do that. I, that's personally the way that I really like to read music. Um, but if you're just trying to read the notation, um, you can always just take away uh, one of the staffs. So you have the melody line there because that's what's gonna be most important. And then you can also play like what the left hand part is. And if you don't like it, you can also change it and make your own arrangement. And we have so many videos on how to play lead sheets, how to add chords to melodies, so many things like that within piano. So much of what we do is teaching you how to put this into like the right box for you and how you play and learn. You take your favorite arpeggios, <laughs> you use the chords, and we have so many amazing arpeggio videos. You just find your favorite ones, add them to the song, and voila, you play the melody on your right hand, <clears throat> you learn how to harmonize the melody, and you are set with thousands of songs, oh, soon to be thousands of songs, because this, this feature- It's just I, the beginning. Yeah, it's just the beginning. And I also heard some people saying like, oh, well, like the MIDI, like it doesn't sound like super, super great. And that's because that, that when you hit that synth button, it is like a computerized piano. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not like someone is sitting down there and playing it because I'm actually very glad it doesn't sound like a real human because the day that robots can play uh -huh. and add emotion, I've lost my job, <laughs> and yes. that's the one thing I hope never happens, because yeah, in MIDI is just, it plays you the notes, it gives you an idea of what it's supposed to sound like, and it's up to you, the human, the musician, to add that emotion, add that depth, yes. and really make the song come to life. Yes. And so, and if you don't like the synth, you can also just play along with the original track, which is, like one of my song tutorials, Don't Stop Believing, comes with the backing track, and you're playing along with Journey, and it feels like, so it feels like you're in the band, which is so, so cool. Uh, that's one of my favorite ways to practice. And not to mention the chords are actually correct. I'm not gonna mention like other, <laughs> I'm not gonna mention other website names, but you look up like a song and you type in chords and a lot of the times, like 90% like of the time when I look up like blah, blah, blah chords. They're not always, they're, they're, they're not wrong, right. Or there's, they're like almost right, or they're meant for guitar. So it's like put a capo on fret three. I'm like, well, that doesn't help me as a piano player, um, unless you know how to transpose. There are workarounds, of course, but that's one of the things I'm super stoked about too with the songs feature is that they're actually like, 
proper transcriptions of all of these songs. And the more that we add, like I'm gonna be using this library for when I'm like figuring out songs for gigs and stuff like that too, or just trying to build my repertoire because at the end of the day, I think that's a really big thing that was missing um, was just finding a way to expand your repertoire. Because for me, the, the perfect practice routine includes a little bit of technique, mm -hmm. a little bit of some sort of like method, you know, increasing your skills. And then the third bit is always adding that repertoire and finding a way to just keep learning music, keep learning those songs. And, and that's, that's how I kind of got good, was just <clears throat> learning songs, and I'd learn new skills, work on those skills in my technique, add them, and then I could learn more advanced songs. And the beautiful thing is, any of these songs, you can play it in multiple different levels. You can play just the melody, you can play simple chords, or you can play a super advanced version of the rose. If I just took that lychee, uh, what's that next part? Stuff okay, there. okay, okay, okay. Here's <laughs> here's what I want to do. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little crazy here. Okay. Um, Kevin, can you on your computer go to the song library and go yes. to um let's do go to Lady Gaga, not Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. Just go to Lady Gaga. Just type in Lady. No, Gaga. in the songs, like do artist filter. Oh, I see. Yeah, we're gonna pull up a million reasons. Got it. And Lady I want to show you guys. I'm just Gaga. gonna give you an example of how I would use the library to practice. I'm gonna switch with Kevin. We're gonna plug cool. it back in. A million yeah. reasons. Yeah. Boom, it's up. And then I'm going to switch spots with you. I'll plug it in for you. Yeah. You're, Kevin, you're just amazing. Kevin's amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Hey, you're welcome. Okay, don't drink my coffee, okay? I will make... Please. I will absolutely not drink your coffee. I'll be so upset if you did that. Okay, so pretend like I want to learn A Million Reasons by Lady Gaga. I'm going to click here on Play Full Track, and I'm going to move the music or the video over a little bit. And I'm actually going to slow it down before I even start because I know I want to take it really easy. And I'm going to look at this and I'm going to go, well, personally, Lisa doesn't like to read notes. But I do like to read chords. So I see on top that all you have to do to get through and play the song is if I were to ignore what's here, I could simply play C, A minor, F, and G. And so keeping that in mind, I'm going to press play. But as simple as I want. Oh, it scrolls for me, doesn't it? And then I can add some rhythm to me if I wanted. Like, I really want to nail down that intro perfectly. So then I'll go to synth, and because I like to use my ears instead of my eyes sometimes, I'm just going to listen to how it sounds. Okay, I'm going to pause that, and I'm going to maybe take a moment to read the notes, okay? Flat version, and then I'm going uh, here. Okay, and then I'm going to go, okay, well, I want to play that with this, so... I'm going to grab this measure and I'm going to loop it. Oh, I did it wrong, but that's okay. I have got it looped. Okay. And now I'm able to just go over that part. 
over and over. And then I may circle back and go back to just reading the chords. But this gives me the ability, even, even if those notes are too like difficult for you to sight read, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go over to settings, watch this little hack. I'm gonna go to settings. I'm gonna put my focus on the piano. Actually, hold on, let me pick um, this one here. And then I'm gonna put the keyboard view on. Come on. There's a setting that lets you get it, the piano to play that. If Chris or Toyo is here, uh, I could use some help for figuring out how to use that one. But that's what I was hoping to do, um, was focus the piano on just that. Click so, the left side of the keyboard. What? Click the left side of the keyboard. Oh my to gosh! Look at, <laughs> See, now the piano will show me where to put my hands. <laughs> And so now it's focusing on the piano part and showing you on the keyboard all lit up exactly how to practice this. So I think that like, do you see? And that's how I would practice the song. So I would use the notes when I wanted to. I'd use the keyboard when it supported me. I would use the synthetic version to go through the notation as I needed to. But they're real fun, friends. This is like, even if you don't, oh, okay, I want to give you homework. <laughs> Pick a song you love. All I want you to do is figure out how to play the chords because we teach, that's what we focus on so hard inside the members area and in our method. Figure out the chords. I don't care if you're reading the notes. Follow along with the chords. And just do this. Even if you're playing a single note. F. And then G. And then C. And then just see where it goes. And it's especially exciting. When you can, um, oh wait, no, not this one. Brendan, where's the other one? What am I looking for? We have, we have them here. Oh, it's I know. Especially exciting <laughs> when this is just like I can't not do There's this. It's an added bonus. This is especially uh, exciting when you practice with your um, piano headphones on. Sounds real nice. And my secret hack, how I do this, is I connect my AirPods to my computer or um to do my lesson or my like device and uh, then these are connected to my piano oh, so, so then like... i have my airpod in at the perfect volume <laughs> and then i fit these over top so i can hear my piano and it works like a charm yeah i i, I just realized the keyboard that i have actually has bluetooth and so i found out i can connect my my laptop to bluetooth and then I can listen to the track and my piano at the same time that's not all that's, pianos that's have bluetooth but that is yeah that's just a little added bonus. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, hold on, I got, oh, there's one more thing. Ooh, okay, thank you, uh, Toyo. I'm gonna circle back to those things. I just want everybody to just tell me what you think of this. Like, what yeah. are your thoughts so far? Because I'm really excited about it. I'm very, very excited. Um, and thank you, Michelle, you're very sweet. Um, <gasps> Who said I stink, Kevin? Uh -huh. I caught you. <laughs> um, okay, the reason, um, while we're getting your guys' feedback, the reason I brought these out is because we have, for those of you who are not already piano members, um, we have an anniversary promo going on right now, YouTube friends. So I just want you to know that we're throwing these headphones in with a yearly. Um, so I think it's new year. I think I got that link right. I don't know. I may or may not have gotten it correct. But yeah, you guys need these. They're pretty amazing. That, um, they are. That's the song's feature. Should we do the questions? I'm tired of talking. I said too many words. <laughs> yeah, and we didn't even go over like if you're if you want to sing along and like oh. accompany yourself, like oh. that's a it's also a great tool. I thought you were gonna start singing some Lady Gaga. That's a hard song to sing, isn't it? Um, you know, I feel like the chorus is like whoa. It is. I'm just gonna switch this to the um. I'm switching this to, the, where is this view that I like? I'm still getting used to all of these settings, uh, chords. Switching it, no, to the, please, uh, Louise, Louise. Well, right now they can't see what you're doing, but. Well, that's ideal because, ah, there we go. I switched it to the chord chart version, oh, so you just chart. see it looks like a chord. The hard part is this, like, right. I, <clears throat> Oh, because 
pitch. Oh, we have a student of the week because we haven't had a student of the week in a while. Oh. And, hey, Lisa, can you play the student of the week chord? Do you remember what it is? Oh, shoot. I think it had to do with the chord G. It has to do with the G chord. Look, student of the week. Okay, it's an F major seven with a G octave in the bass. Oh, that's And do a nice trill. And then you're going to resolve on a C major chord. The student of the week is Jeff Glaive. Glaive. I actually, he told me how to pronounce it. I hope I'm pronouncing oh, Jeff, that right. Thank you. Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations on being our student of the week. It's just like all the live things. It's so positive. He is at every live stream, and he he like rewatches like our live streams, like in theory sometimes as well, which we have on Thursdays. Uh, it's Technique so good. Tuesday. He's it's... on there with Cass. He's on the piano bench. I think he's in the chat here today too. Yes, it's part of our family. Oh yeah, there he is. Congratulations, Jeff. Well deserved. I know we usually show some little performances, but right now Jeff is a little injured, so he couldn't mm. play this time. But keep an eye out for the forums because he's always in there as don't well. So it. don't miss it. So congratulations <laughs> to Jeff. Let's get to some questions. Hey, Lisa. Hey, yeah. That's hey, yeah. Uh, hey, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Let's get to those questions, eh? Yeah. Do we have Canadian accents for any Americans do we? or from anyone else? I think we don't. Where's okay. the questions? Questions are on our little... Oh, they're there where it says questions. Yeah, right there. You got it. I'm fine. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm just going to scan this to see if there's anything related to what we were just talking about. Okay. Yeah, we've um, got a lot of questions in here. Randy, can we filter songs alphabetically? Great question. Great question. No idea. <laughs> uh, looks to be at this time, no, but you can... F yes, you can! Go to the very right, there's a filter by, and it's set to newest first, but you can go by a song uh -huh, name. Oh, there it is. Or most popular, which it's gonna take a while for the most popular to classify itself because this feature just launched, but already when I switch to most popular, I'm getting Let It Be, Imagine, Hallelujah, Glory of Love, the glory Sweet Home Alabama. Down. Okay, this is exciting. All right, sorry, I'll stop now. <laughs> okay, uh, I got, can you help? I'm distracted. Yes, okay, let's go to questions. We have a ton of questions in here, so let's just start off with the top one here from okay. Ruth. Let's be organized. How do I move my hand to make a smooth sound when a chord has an arpeggiated, squiggly line on it? You want to sit here? Yeah. All right. We're playing musical, musical benches. benches on the piano bench. Holla. Holla. Okay. All right. Where's my coffee? Ooh. <gasps> what happened to your coffee? Gavin, what is that? Oh my gosh. It's still full. I was thinking about drinking your coffee, but I actually, kind of cold. I don't like cold. coffee You're either. So like it would have been you. just as bad for me as it would have been for you. I thought that's just too mean that's to too do it to I'm your coffee. So, feeling a little so discombobulated would... now. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, how, do I move, how do I move my hand to make a smooth sound when a chord has arpeggiated squiggly line on it? So I'm assuming, I have to have an idea of what your squiggly line is, and that's typically gonna, that means that you're gonna either go from the top to the bottom, depending where the arrow is facing. So. If, for example, the student of the week chord, if it had that squiggly line going down the bottom, I would play it like going up really smooth like that. And sometimes it might be a trill, it might not be, depending how long it goes for, but you want to do like a little, instead of hitting them at the same time, just kind of roll into it. Or you, you need your backwards. pedal. Yeah, and your pedal, it also helps. Otherwise, I mean, depends if you're gonna do a trill, then you definitely need the pedal. Otherwise, you need the pedal. It would sound like. Pedal or bust. Pedal or bust. But yeah, nice and smooth, a roll. Uh, when you see those squiggly lines went up and down. Just roll with it. Uh, Pete Healing. Oh, yeah, no, there's only 10 minutes left. We're going to have to go I second. know, I know. Shoot! Could we have a lesson on Kevin's cover of The Weeknd, Save Your Tears, please? Pete, man, I, that was just like a spur of the moment thing. I remember I was here filming my Latin course, and someone said, hey, can you try and play this? Uh, Save Your Tears, that one. Uh, Kevin doesn't even know what he did. That one, oh, I, I mostly did like, um, it was just our, like arpeggios on like C. Sounds like the spa arpeggio to me. Yeah, it's the spa arpeggio, that's all I was doing. Strikes again. Strikes again. So perhaps we can revisit that? 
Yeah, I could definitely talk about that, especially like in an in theory class in there, Pete, if you ever want to join me there. Okay. can definitely break that down for you. We're going uh, lightning round on Chester, this. Chester, I see the 40 songs challenge on the forum. That's almost one song a week. Mm. I practice a good bit, at least one hour a day, and I think I would struggle with one song a month. Is it more valuable to learn more songs or learn fewer songs and work to polish them more? Both. When does diminishing returns set in? Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be different for every person. It's not like one rule kind of fits everyone oh. in this case. And like your first like few songs that you learn, it might take you one month to learn, or like three months to learn one song, yeah. depending on the difficulty level. And you that's know? okay. Totally. And the 40 song challenge, it is a challenge that is on our forms. I think it's a great challenge to yes. have. Yes. Um, and so for all those who are participating, props and kudos to you, because that's a yes. lot of songs to learn in one year. Uh, but you also have to adjust that for your difficulty if you're going to try out that challenge. But if you're trying to challenge yourself proficiently, <clears> technically <throat> on the piano, yeah, a song a month is also a great way to do. At the end of the day, if you're learning more songs, you're expanding your repertoire, you're on the right track. Okay. Um, no, uh, that's how I'm saying your username today. <laughs> Want to play in a band? I wonder what my musical skills required. Go through the first four levels of the method and you'll be shockingly like pretty close to there. Just need to play chords and follow along with rhythm. Um, and that's a great starting point. I started playing in a band with just triads. That's all I did. Oh, yeah. And it was great. So just go do it. Um, we are going to be doing a jazz course this year, knock on wood. So it's coming. Um, Jay Langon and Rick, I'm exploring. I did not learn to play piano traditionally. I did play brass instruments. I'm just kind of skipping a hint here. What can I do to build the independence and dexterity of my left hand? Um, we have something called the Stupefier Left Hand in our courses section. Go there, do that. It'll it'll be great for you. Yes. Um, Becky, my hands are small sometimes. Well, they're small all the time. And I sometimes can't play the big chords. That makes sense. Um, my piano teacher would rearrange the chords for me. Um, but what do I do now? Okay, first of all, you can stretch a bit. So, like, my reach has gotten better over time. And there's nothing wrong with arranging, rearranging the chords. I still do it. Or just yeah. ignore notes. And if you're going to take out a note out of any chord, the note that you take out the most is the fifth. Because the first and the third, you kind of need to make chords. Yeah. Um, Ms. Riz, yes, you can print music from our song library. When you click on the song, there's a download option. So you can download and print the music. Um, Dan, will there be an announcement to members when that video is released? Which video is that? If it's the quick tip on the um, blue scale, it's already there. Uh, Kevin, do we have a major blues as a minor blues? We do have some. Uh, we do have some videos on major blues, and this one I'm particular. I'm focusing on the minor blues scale because it's got that. Like you can use a minor blues scale over a major blues progression, just because that's the blues sound. If you go back to um, blues music and like where it started, and they use that natural third sometimes, and sometimes the flat third. Uh, but in this video, I'm just focusing on the minor blues scale. Yes. Okay, we are probably gonna run out of time for answering questions, but I just wanna like let you know if we don't get your question or we don't answer it as thoroughly as you need us to, please resubmit it for next week so that we can circle back or send us an email, lisa at pianoach.com or kevin at pianoach.com so we can help you that way. Um, Rock and Rex, our songs library is definitely has more customizable options um, compared to something like MuseScore and I think like our demonstrations just today with the with the syncing to the tracks and the transposition and all of the features, I think we covered it. Yeah, and like Muse, MuseScore is great. It's just it, a lot of them are also like user submitted, so you never know if it's if there's actually going to be errors. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, Sebastian, the best fingering is going to give you the easiest route or path through your notes. So um, you can type that keyword into our search bar and you're going to find a video from Cassie on that. And uh, if you're ever like, I'm really struggling here, just send us a student review and we can help you. Um, Carol, I'm not sure if we have the ability to print all of the different um, variations and the customizations from SoundSlice, which is our practice feature, but I'm going to do some investigating on that and get back to you. Um, and Kathy, how do you play the second treble with the left hand if it's higher than the melody? Take your melody and just transpose it up, if that makes sense. Like if you want to kind of move around how you're organizing the song, a great rule of thumb is just to read the right hand or the melody where it is, but then just play it an octave higher so you have more space. Totally. Very common with piano melody mm -hmm. arrangements. Um, you suggest using these new song feature to practice songs from the method. The method songs are arranged differently, but I and they're sometimes simplified. So if you're feeling that it's like just a little too hard from the song library experience, stick with the method, but super worth giving a try just to see if it feels right for you. 
Okay. Holy Hannah. You think <laughs> we can make him? You're crushing it. You're crushing it. Dead from Ladner. Are the 1,000 songs mixed in with the original songs? Wondering because as a lifetime member, I may not have <clears> access <throat> to new songs after, after the free month. We have all the song tutorials are still existing where they are. So the lessons that have song tutorials attached to them will stay where they are in the songs tutorial section. This is a completely different sort of area. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, why are there three pedals? Type in three pedals in the search and you'll get a little lesson. You only really need the sustain pedal unless you're into like more advanced styles mm -hmm. and playing. Um, is there a way to bookmark portions of our live streams? I think they're time stamps, but I don't think you can bookmark them. Yes. Good we question. Do, yeah, they are, they are chaptered afterwards when it's published. When you use Bluetooth, don't you get delay or latency? Um, uh, only if you're using it as like a MIDI controller, then I definitely do. But if you're just using it to connect to your, to your piano, um, then I don't personally have it. I know it's different product to product. Um, and we have like one minute. So Jeanette, on the songs um, feature, you can see the keyboard by just pressing that keyboard icon on the top bar. And then you can customize what it plays by pressing the dots on the far left of that, um, which we showed. But you might it might have been that you asked a question before I showed it or you came after I answered it. But it's there. I showed it. Um, and you know what, Duncan, if you feel like you're playing chords in your left hand and it sounds clinical and it's not as like full as what I just did, that's normal because you're new. And it, I certainly didn't sound like I do now when I started with this. It's a little baby steps, keeping totally. it simple. Practice, practice, that's practice. That's what it's all about. And have fun. And I think we get um, five stars for answering all those questions. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's great. Uh, I think there's maybe one we missed in there. I uh, missed one? Surfer Menda. Um, love the songs player. Uh, two questions. Could you add some finger number hints? And number two, is it possible to add an option to remember the configuration of the player? I don't think in this, at least. I think we just got an, an update that oh, lets really? you save your pre configurations, but I don't Breaking know how news. it works. So <laughs> Chris, if you know how to do that, can we make a post in the forums that would maybe explain some of these things? I think that would be helpful. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to film like a how-to video that you guys can return to any time totally. on how to use this, and we'll include that in there as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as for the finger numbers right now, quick, quick, quick answer. Um, it might be difficult for all the songs because uh, at the end of the day, finger numberings are like the recommended fingering because there are different ways you can do that. Even in my blue scale video I just did, I teach <clears> one <throat> fingering, and then as soon as I teach the fingering, I go and teach riffs. The fingering, I do it differently. It's different because depending on the riff you're playing, depending on the scale you're playing, your fingering is going to be all. It, it's going to change all the time. Do what feels most comfortable for you uh, while trying to you know incorporate those finger tucks whenever you can. We have to go because it's Dromeo's turn. It is. Wow. Dromeo's going live for the drum department, so we're getting kicked out. Um, piano friends, thank you for being here. And this is like our first New Year's um, episode, so I've really enjoyed our time together. And our YouTube friends, remember to click the link on the YouTube. Go grab that trial so you can test out our songs feature. Or if you know that you're ready and you want these super awesome headphones, just grab that yearly membership. Uh, make sure 